about twice a year, I come to the largest salvage car auction in the country, the Copart Chicago North location. They have about 15 thousand cars and I only come twice a year because I compact all of the best totally destroyed salvage vehicles into this video and this is no different. Boy oh boy do we have some good ones for you today. This frame is completely rotted out and broken. Eee. Oh and the engine's gone. Found it. It was just over here. If you're looking for a cheap Corvette this is it. There's more burnt blowers. Yes! Bullet right there, and then they probably shot the glass out. And so we're starting off with twin TRXs. Well, they're different colors, but you know what I mean. At first glance, these two trucks look pretty nice. Like, why are they at a salvage auction? But we have wrap there and wrap there. That could indicate our issues. But let's just do a quick little walk around here, and we will discover why these Rams are here. All right, definitely not major body damage on the yellow one. And back seat looks okay. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it stinks. Woo! What is going on here? We have just like a black hole of death right in the dash. What? What is in here? This is like out of a sci-fi movie. Seriously. Look at that. What in the world? Oh man, the sun visor started to go up in flames as well. The headliner and it's dripping goo right on the seat. Oh, come on, was this a speaker? I think that's right what would have been in the center of the dash. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that's a speaker that literally just melted down and is now by the accelerator pedal. This is awesome, I love this kind of stuff. Let's figure out where this fire started. All right, we gotta take a look under the hood. There we go. Where did this fire start? Well, I'll tell you this much, if this thing ends up getting parted out, the engine and everything looks intact. Yeah, here is our Hellcat engine crammed underneath the cowl and everything looks fine. Nothing burned right here. I don't think the fire started anywhere near the engine. It looks like the fire was started on this side of the firewall. So potentially an electrical short or something like that. Very interesting. If it was an electrical issue and this truck was covered under warranty, would the Dodge warranty cover literally the entire car. Because if that's what happened, that issue totaled the car out. That's that's crazy. I used to work at the dealer for 10 years for Mercedes and we never had an issue like this. This is really unique and super cool. I'm very curious. Imagine being the technician at the dealership getting this ticket. Customer complains of gaping hole in the dash. TRX number two has a little bit more visible damage on the outside and the roof is wrapped. Um, is there a gaping hole in the dash? Oh, look at that. Did the other one have an issue with this Harman Kardon speaker? I don't know. But otherwise, uh, oh wait, the headliner's down. Oh, the glass was broken out. Yeah, those are glass shards. Oh yeah, that's why this is wrapped. All right, so it needs a new panoramic roof. Not that big of a deal. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got bullet holes. All right, we are in the Chicago land area after all. So we have a couple of bullet holes and I always like to see the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't make it through. Wow, this must be really strong or those are really, really small bullets. But this one was definitely shot at. I guess it's possible they shot out the glass there as well. And here's what's left of the panoramic roof. But other than that, it looks like a nice truck. And honestly, some of these bullet hole cars can be the best deals at the salvage auction because a lot of them are like insta totaled if they're involved in any kind of shootout. And if you look at a car like this, it needs a new panoramic roof. It needs a tailgate repair. You probably don't even have to replace the entire tailgate. Uh, and a few little scratches here and there, and you're good to go. This wasn't a frame damaged vehicle or a flood vehicle. It's, it's kind of an easy repair. So I'm a big fan of the bullet hole cars. All right, this thing might've been shot, but it's a TRX. It probably still starts. Keep up, not detected. It's right here. No, it doesn't start. And I don't think it's the battery. Huh. Sounds so good, I want one of these. That is wicked. This is a pickup truck. Oh man, with a nice, nice interior. It's comfortable, it launches. Apparently sometimes electronics fail in the dash and melts the whole thing down. But aside from that, these are sweet. Woo! Oh, that sounds good. Did they lop the exhaust off or is that just how these are? Yeah, it looks factory, cool. We see a lot of cars like this. This is a 2024 X6 and it's a theft recovery 
and there's really nothing wrong with it. So it was probably stolen, joy ridden around Chicago for a few hours, and luckily they recovered this. Most of them, you know, they never get recovered. So great buy for somebody. Since I'm now a Porsche owner, this is very interesting to me. This is a Turbo 996. So all wheel drive, turbocharged, manual transmission, um, and surprisingly, this one has 118,000 miles. That's a lot for a car like this. Some period correct BBS wheels. Unfortunately, it's locked. This would be a really cool daily, but look at the damage. It's not bad. Like it doesn't even look like it was hit in the quarter. The bumper's obviously missing. Oh, and this is smushed in, but not that bad at all. This will definitely get repaired. It is super dusty today, so it's almost kind of hard to tell what color the cars are. And maybe if these cars were ceramic coated, they wouldn't look this dirty. It's possible these people just didn't know about the amazing Black Friday deal from Avalon King right now. And for a very limited time, you're gonna get three Armor Shield 9 complete DIY kits for $99. Normally, these are $75 a piece. This is by far the best deal of the entire year. And one kit's good to coat an entire car. If you have a larger truck or SUV, you need two kits, but either way, you're gonna have one or two kits left over to give to someone as a gift for the holidays. So click on the link down below. The deal is automatically applied, but it runs out soon. So grab it while you can. Name a car with better sounding doors. The G-Wagon. Just rock solid. This is listed as vandalism. It could have been a theft recovery. There doesn't look to be anything wrong with it. Unlike these two McLarens right here, this was a theft recovery. So they have a pallet full of parts, um, but take a look at the wrap. So I guess that was the original color. They wrapped it in purple and it's like they didn't finish wrapping it. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. And then this is the wrap from the auction because it had a bunch of panels taken off. So this way rainwater won't get in, but it doesn't seem like this one was in any kind of accident. It was uh, just a theft recovery. So they started sealing parts. It's got an aftermarket exhaust, pretty neat. Yeah, this one on the other hand was in a bit of a wreck, a 570S. So everything back here is gonna be pretty mangled and bent up. Oh yeah, look at that arm just laying on the ground. And here is the pallet of the wrapped McLaren's parts. So yeah, no accident damage at all. This stuff kind of just needs to be put back together and I would uh, highly recommend you remove the wrap and and I don't know, guys, let me know. Is, is this a factory paint color? I mean, if it is, it's actually really cool. I like it, but uh, they wrapped it in this purple and they didn't do the best job, but someone could put this McLaren back together. I think I've seen this Ferrari here before. These are worth like two, three hundred thousand dollars And this one doesn't look that bad. It was sideswiped. Very, very nice car. It had an airbag go off in the driver door, but this will definitely get fixed. Other than that, in this section, we have a couple of Bentleys, a Rolls Royce, another McLaren, an antique. Uh, these just have kind of your typical accidents. This is kind of cool right in here though. Yeah, you definitely don't want to start this guy up. Oil cooler is destroyed. But you guys have seen a ton of wrecked exotics here on YouTube. Well, let's go take a look at a Chevy Silverado where the frame failed. And I typically take my Chevy Caprice PPV for lot tours, but it is fall, it is boost weather. So I brought the Pro Charge 700 horsepower Chevy Express van missing paint and all. You need a pro charged van to do lot tours. It's mandatory. We see this sometimes in the Midwest with older pickup trucks. And uh, this one had the pinstriping done from the factory. It doesn't line up anymore. And it looks like the bed has kind of smashed its way into the cab. Oh yeah. Welcome to the Midwest, the rust belt. This is so bad. But where's the break in the frame? This thing has got to be cracked. I found it, look at that. Sweet. This frame is completely rotted out and broken and more of the same on the passenger side as well. Look at this crustiness though, wow. Could you guys in the South imagine needing to work on a vehicle like this? I mean, all the bolts, everything are gonna be frozen completely. Oh yeah, good luck working on the steering and suspension on this thing. And on these older GM trucks, if the frame doesn't rot out, your quarter panels and doors and everything are gonna rot out. Look at what they did here. I mean, they just filled this right over the rust with what? Eee. I don't think that's a proper repair. Hey, and I'm curious what the frame looks like on this guy right in that same area. You see where that bolt is? It's turned up, that's a weak spot. So this is currently intact, but 
probably isn't gonna last much longer. This is an example of, of a good one here. It's not perfect, but the frame is much more intact. It's likely this vehicle spent a lot of its life somewhere much nicer than Chicago. I think I figured out who has the strongest brake caliper ever. It would be the Cadillac Escalade. The rotor is completely broken off. It's inside of the brake pads. Caliper's still looking good. Here's another pickup truck of the Rivian flavor, 57,000 miles on a new Rivian. And these are pretty cool. They have air suspension and you can lift them this much just by adjusting the setting in the screen. Uh, it's missing the fender flare, so it looks a little bit more lifted, but this is, this is pretty cool. This is really interesting because this Rivian was denied a repair by the insurance company. So what happens sometimes, especially with higher dollar vehicles, if they're not sure how much it's gonna cost to fix, they'll approve the body shop to start investigating. And sometimes that requires them to cut out big parts of the car to see what's behind. So it was hit in this quarter. So they went ahead and cut away the rest to see what the structure behind it looked like. Now, this was crunched up, you can see right here. And Rivian parts are hard to come by, very expensive. You can see this wheel is bent as well. And they started disassembling everything, including the interior. You can see the door handles are gone, the door panels are gone, and everything is just in the bed. And yeah, so they denied this repair. And you can see all the writing from the body shop pointing out every little issue with this Rivian, which ultimately added up to a total. This is really cool. You guys remember the Chevy Uplander minivan? They kind of looked like this minus the accident damage, but what a legendary minivan. Geez, if the accident didn't do this one in, look at the rotted floor and frame sections. Oh my gosh. Needed a rocker panel anyway. Oh, and the engine's gone. Found it. It was just over here. And can we talk about Rust Belt cars again? Look at, look at this. It's just eating away. It's already destroyed. Leave it alone, Rust. This Infinity is pretty cool. It's a Q50 and it looks fine. But if you look underneath it, you can see the internals of the engine. Look at this. The oil pan was ripped off. So they probably hit something. Maybe, no, actually it kind of looks like it was removed because yeah no part of the upper oil pan is destroyed very weird this was a vandalism car was this vandalized by a mechanic who's like i'm gonna get back at this person and he zipped off all the oil pan bolts like that's mean and kind of clever and mostly mean don't do that i don't show too many volkswagen passats but uh we drove by this one and it is indeed a vandalism car they wrote mexico on the hood, busted out the headlight, keyed it as well, busted out the sunroof, smashed a hole in the roof. Yeah, interior looks good. Uh, it busted out that glass too. What a shame, looked like someone's nice daily driver. Here's a new GLS 63 in a really nice green metallic color. Beautiful car, 4,000 miles, 56 trouble codes. So, you know, European cars, sometimes they list the trouble codes. I'm just kidding, I've never seen that, but only on a Mercedes would they list the, the trouble. I think that's the trouble codes, that's that's weird. But wow, look at the new interiors on these things. Whoa, I've never been in this year car, but wow, look at this. Gigantic screen going over most of the dash. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. Yeah, I was in the back too, but this will get fixed. Usually the bullet hole cars are a little higher end, but in this case, we have a Hyundai and it looks like this was used as a car shield, maybe in front of a nice car. It took a lot of bullets. So we have a bullet here and one there and one there, 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 kind of there. I don't know. That may not have been a bullet or a weak bullet. We got bullets on the roof too. Again, didn't go through. Gun guys, what, what kind of bullet wouldn't go through right there? Or maybe it was just shot from far away. Bullet right there, and then they probably shot the glass out. And here we have the exit wounds in the interior. So door panel, door panel, uh, the actual door right there, and right into the dash. This poor Hyundai venue. Not gonna lie, I've never heard of the Hyundai venue, but then again, I don't really like follow Hyundai that much. Except that super cool new futuristic concept car. Is that Hyundai or Kia, the one that looks like the DeLorean, whatever that is? That's cool. But again, another good deal for a bullet hole car. You could replace a fender and a door or have this patched up. If you got this thing cheap enough and it was just gonna be a point A to point B daily driver, uh, you could just fix all this stuff. Some of it is PDR, I'm telling you. These bullet hole cars are a fantastic deal. So I've never had a Mopar before. I always look around for a Hellcat and uh, I haven't found anything yet today except for this, which is part of a Mopar. Not exactly sure what happened here, but I'm gonna venture to say possibly a theft recovery and it was at the chop shop, uh, something along those lines. 
and uh, maybe because it had the VIN tag still attached, they recovered it, recovered it. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, you know, it's good for really nothing. Honestly, I don't even know what parts you could take. It's got a really nice brake booster, I'll tell you that much. It's a very good brake booster right here. But yeah, no good. This isn't a Hellcat though. I think this is a Daytona package car. Whoa, look at this hot rod, the Grim Reaper. So cool. It's a shame when you see these antique, classic, kind of restored cars all mangled up, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool to see some carnage like that. The axle housing just broke right off. Wow. These arms broke off as well. Yeah, she got mangled. Someone will rebuild this though. It will see the light of day again. I think, I mean, I actually have no idea. It could be scrapped for parts. Who knows? Well, if you're looking for a cheap Corvette, uh, this is it. It's a C5, I believe. Um, it is very difficult to tell. Is this a C5 or a C6? Yeah, it's a C5. Okay. This thing got completely destroyed. This must have been a rollover and then over and then over and then over again. And it is now supporting life. It has life growing right through it. What a shame. I would not mind an M4 like this. Not a huge fan of the color, but this was in a rear end collision. The exhaust is uh, a little damaged. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, we got power. Oh yeah. Hey, that's a broken exhaust. <laughs> eh, I don't like it. That does not sound good at all. Not at all. But the accident overall isn't too bad. It's got like 50 some thousand miles. Someone one day will be driving this car. Before my YouTube career, I had a 1981 Corvette. I think this is an 80 and it doesn't look too bad from the outside, to be honest with you. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I mean, it's super dusty right now, so everything looks horrible. And look at this. What? 594,000 miles? What? Get out of here. That's, there's no way. There is no way. Oh, what happened to the interior? Oh, okay. They, they took some parts from it. This is great. Whoever wrote that on the window, it's probably a younger person who doesn't realize that these things roll over past 100,000. That is not 500,000 miles. All right, guys, we're gonna play a little game here because I can never tell what some of these totally burned vehicles are. Like this one, no idea what it is. I just looked it up, so I cheated. But comment down below, what kind of car is this one? We'll call this car number one. For car number two, I'm just gonna show you this. So your only hints are this totally burned engine and uh, okay, I'll give you a little bit more right there. What is car number two? Last one in today's Guess That Burned Car competition. Here is car number three. So you get a shot of the engine and the interior. What is car number three? Grand prize is bragging rights in the comment section, but we are on the honor system. So comment down below if you guessed all three of these properly. Car number one is a Hyundai Sonata. Here is the rest of car number two. It is a Lincoln MKC. And here is the rest of car number three. It is a Chevy Impala. Or do you say Impala? I say Impala, but some people say Impala, especially around Chicago. Um, it's just not me. I, I think there's only two types of people in this world, the Impalas and the Impalas. Which one are you? Normally, I don't spend this much time in the burn section, but this is a first generation Camaro. And look at this. It was a supercharged first gen Camaro. I'm assuming with an LS because it has an electronic throttle body right there. So it had to have been a resto mod car that burned to the ground. What a shame. Look at this blower. Oh man. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of blowers, there's more burnt blowers. Yes, a Hellcat motor with a gigantic throttle body. <laughs> Dude, look at this track hawk with a 108 millimeter throttle body. I only know that because of the engine fire. It burned the entire intake away, but whoa. Let's see, did this thing have headers too? Yeah, long tube headers as well. This was probably really, really fast at some point. And now it's just had a, you know, a little bit of weight reduction, I guess you could say. What do you have to do to a Jeep Rubicon to make it sit like this? What in the world, they jump something? Well, this differential housing is not supposed to look like this at all. It is in the dirt and completely broken. Whoa, look at this awesome carnage. Sweet. 
seat. You can see the broken axle tube right there. This Rubicon is very, very mangled. The rear axle housing did okay though. It's It still exists. Shock got crunched though. Everything kind of shifted over here. We're back by the TRXs and I don't know if you guys saw this in the background. Cool car, not a cool wheel choice. I, I am not a fan of modern wheels on an older Benz. It's, I don't know. And there you have it. A lot tour of the largest salvage auction in the country where we don't just look at smashed cars. We look at interesting stuff because there's so much more to these lots like cracked in half frames, exposed oil pans, wiring issues that caused a car to be totaled out that would have potentially been covered under warranty. We got bullet holes, we got it all. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, share the video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and most importantly, have a fantastic day. I'll see all of you in the next video. Imagine being the dealership working at, imagine being the technician work, imagine being the, could you guys in the South, could you guys in the South, could you guys in the South, and on these old GM trucks, if it doesn't, and on the old G, and on these old G, or do you say Impala? It's Impala or Impala, or do you say Impala? And there you have it, a lot tour of the largest, Stop beeping in my outro.